Sammy, with the championship leader after round one, it's going to take something for you to hold on to that championship lead now. Just tell us some of the problems you've had so far this weekend. Yeah, well, um, we had a bit of a nightmare yesterday come the qualifying heats. Um, all day Friday and Saturday morning, we'd been the fastest, like quite comfortably, by between three and four tenths in every session. Uh, qualified on pole by three tenths. Uh, come to the first heat, and my clutch cable had um, popped out of the, the where it sits um, to come to start, and I had absolutely no clutch. So, like, luckily, quick thinking, my mechanic and Scott Allen, who's my nearest rival, his mechanic, um, also gave me a quick hand just to pop it back into place and get me going. Um, obviously, that counted as working on a car on the grid, and there was a protest lodged, and we ended up being excluded from that heat as a result. Um, thankfully, we are able to count that as a drop round or dropped heat uh, due to the fact it wasn't a technicality. Um, so that was a bit of a kick in the teeth, but we picked ourselves up, got back into the lead in the second heat, was leading that comfortably by about a second or so, um, only for the engine to cease. So <laughs> we've gone from, well, what should have been two comfortable wins in the heats, pole for the first final to starting dead last now for the first final. So we've got it all today. So uh, Plum last in the pre-final, first final, a televised final after that. So where you start that final will depend on your result there. Just want to ask you this though, how old are you now? 18. So you're 18, in a, at a time when we see a lot of kids now leaving karting at 14, 15 to go and race cars, you've sort of bucked that trend. I know cars is where you ultimately plan to go, but just explain for the younger kids watching why this should be a class that they should be aspiring to before they move into cars. Well, I mean, in my opinion, moving 14, 15, is, it's like, there are championships you can do with the cars aren't massively fast, but it's a very young age to be moving. Um, the, thing, the good thing with the gearbox is obviously you learn, you spend a year, even if they only do it for a year, you spend a year learning about the clutch, bite points, things like that for starts, as well as changing gear and m almost like multitasking, I suppose you'd say. Um, and for me, looking to move to cars at the end of the year, I've done it for a few years now, but it's invaluable experience. I mean, it saves a year of learning that inner car when you're going to have huge expense. And if you get it wrong, you look at writing off a car, which is a bit more than getting it wrong on one of these. And for me, I think it's invaluable class for anyone looking to progress their career um, to develop and hone their skills in terms of like you well even there's four like front brakes and everything like that all on the pedal um, and it's a very good class for someone to like learn the basics I suppose the way a car works in some aspects um, as well as honing their skills on starts gear changes using gears to t rot for rotation and so on.